Hi, I'm Igor Mezik. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering here at uh, University of California, Santa Barbara. I've been here now for 21 years. Uh, it's been a while and uh, I also work on energy efficiency, so I direct the uh, buildings and design group at the Institute for Energy Efficiency. Most people think of buildings as dumb. <laughs> you just walk in, you're you're living or working in this building and, and it provides some level of comfort and you get annoyed when it doesn't. But if you think about it, your car has an enormous amount of intelligence in it already and many of our buildings just don't. So I started doing some research within the context of the Institute for Energy Efficiency that would enable buildings to quote unquote think. Today, if a unit fails in a building, you might go on for 15, 20 days um, before the problem gets discovered. The waste of energy is very large um, and nobody knows about it. I dislike this statistic, but it's, it's a powerful one. 5% of all of our buildings spend 50% of the energy, of all the energy that's used in buildings, 5% of the largest ones. And the reason is that those 5% have the square footage of 50% of all the commercial building space. So the, the things that we started doing are sort of a discovery of the root cause problems inside building systems using massive amounts of data that buildings these days, very sophisticated buildings stream. So if you concentrate on the ones that already have some data gathering capability, you're hitting the largest segment of what needs to be there. And if you're thinking about the developing nations and, and, and other parts of the world, the, the problems with energy efficiency that they're going to have as well is with the fast growing, very large commercial market segment. So the nice thing about it is it sounds very mundane, but actually at the end of the day, it's artificial intelligence for building recognizing on its own that that uh, something's wrong or something can be improved and it needs to change its parameters. Um, that's quite exciting to me. Quite exciting.